So today I'm going to show you how to make three magic wands that you can use for costumes like Harry Potter or any other type of wizard that needs a magic wand. So you want to start by getting yourself some sticks or you can also use dowels if you want a perfectly smooth wand. So for the first wand, I just took one of the sticks and tied a shoelace around the end of it. A little knot. And then I just made X's down the handle part of it, just crisscrossing the shoelace back and forth over itself until it was long enough to make a good handle. And then I just tied the ends off in another knot and let the ends trail down the sides. So then you want to take an acorn and take some strong glue. I'm using power tack here. And attach the acorn to the end of the stick. And then you want to give the entire thing a coating of brown paint, including the shoelace and the acorn, the whole thing. And then you're going to paint the acorn metallic gold. You're going to paint the tops of the shoelaces gold as well, but just the tops. Don't paint the full thing, just the tops. Give kind of a brushed on effect. And of course the shoelace part that trails down should be painted gold as well. So for the second wand, I just took a stick and painted it metallic gold. And then I took some metallic silver puffy paint and I just made a bunch of little squiggly lines all the way down it. Wasn't really any set pattern, there's kind of a haphazard little back and forth set of squiggles just to give it some texture. And I left a blank spot on the one end so that could be the handle. So I took some gold beads left over from my Loki costume and I put a little bit of power tack on the end of it. And I wrapped that around the handle. And so I just went up the handle part of it, just slowly wrapping the beads around and every few inches putting a little more glue on and wrapping it until I had the entire handle area covered with the beads. So that's the handle for that wand. Just like that. And so then for the third wand, I took a couple of plastic skull and bat rings. And then I just cut the plastic parts off the back of them so that they were flat in the back. And the two skulls, I just put a little bit of power tack down the sides and glued the two together to make a double-sided skull. Then I put some glue on the end of the stick and slid the double-sided skull onto it. So then I put some glue on one of the bats and put a little further down the stick to be at the top of the handle. And I put the other bat on the other side so that'll be the handle area of that wand. And then I took some hot glue and filled in the open spot in the skulls. And then I painted the entire thing black. And then I just painted some metallic silver on the bat and on the skull. And you want to paint this lightly so that some of the black shows through. It gives it more texture. So then I took some trim left over from my confessor dress. I put a little bit of glue on the end of it. I did this one much like I did the beads on the previous one. Just putting a little bit of glue on it every few inches and wrapping it right up the handle area until I'd reached all the way to the top. And so then there is the cool little skull and bat. That one's probably my favorite wand. So this is all three of the wands. A little bit of a close-up. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a comment below and let me know which wand you would choose or rather which wand you think would choose you. Not quite. No, no, definitely not. <laughs>